asking only on two tonight. A dermatologist in Fort Bend County says thieves stole copper wire from her business not once, not twice, but three different times. Each incident was caught on camera and the owner of Cinco Ranch Dermatology tells our Rochelle Turner it's very difficult and frustrating. She has much more on how much the copper could fetch for when it's sold by thieves and how much damage was left behind. The electrical company behind me is still working to reinstall the lines and says copper can be sold for thousands of dollars. It's the material inside the casing that the bad guys like to steal. Over the past year and a half, the business owner tells me she's dished out over $75,000 and feels like her business is being targeted. Inside the Cinco Ranch Dermatology's office. This is our main hallway. Not exactly going to find any uh, skin cancers in this light. Dr. Kelly Cotter tries to figure out. Who would have thought? I hadn't even heard of this. I mean, who thinks of this? Why thieves stole hundreds of feet of copper wire from her business. So I just got the bill today. It's $27,000 for today. Dr. Cotter says this is not the first time her office has been left in the dark. And we have 20 employees that had nothing to do today. We had over 80 patients that needed to be rescheduled. Back in February of 2021, surveillance video caught a person walking across the property on Westheimer Parkway in Katy. You can see him like coming right up um, and opening the, the door. Dr. Connor says they paid $25,000 to fix the problem. And then the first day we come back after the copper's been replaced, it was gone again within a week. Thing happened a third time last night on the ring camera. We can see the guy jumping the fence and cutting the cutting the cords and on our neighbor's building. We can see their white pickup truck coming in about 4 430 in the morning and they just back up. Electricians say a pound of copper can sell for three to four dollars, which would make the heist worth a few thousand dollars. Dr. Connor says third time's a charm, but hopes the thieves aren't so lucky next time. Dr. Connors did file a report with the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. She plans on increasing security measures around her business and hopes to reopen on Friday. Reporting in Fort Bend County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. How